These are images you saw repeatedly during protests in several cities, Grand Rapids included, after the death of George Floyd. Police using tear gas to control crowds. One Michigan lawmaker says police simply should not have that option. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu spoke with her about the bill she recently introduced. To me to use it as crowd control really seems inhumane and cruel and disproportionate. Michigan State Representative Kara Hope introduced the Tear Gas Prohibition Act in late June after reports circulated that chemical deterrents were used on protesters in Washington. The bill, which has 10 sponsors including Hope, would ban law enforcement from using chemical irritants for crowd control. Wartime treaties like the Geneva Conventions ban tear gas compounds due to health effects, but it can still be used legally in the United States. The fact that it can't be used on enemy combatants on a battlefield, but it can be used in our city streets. Um, people who are peacefully protesting is a, a major concern. The Democratic representative says the bill is a push to protect freedom of speech and the right to assemble. Tear gas may be used to put down viewpoints that the authorities don't agree with. Someone might be okay with it being used on Black Lives Matter protesters or anti-police brutality protesters. What about next time maybe it's your group? Maybe it's a pro-second amendment group or a anti-stay home order group. Hope says she expects pushback from the House, but is confident authorities can find different means of crowd control. It's, uh, you know, a difficult job and these are difficult times, but I think it's important that we kind of remember what our principles are as a country. 13 on your side spoke with the Grand Rapids Police Department about the legislation. Officers did use chemical irritants during a Black Lives Matter protest at the end of May. GRPD told us they will have a statement from their office tomorrow. The bill has been referred to the House Judiciary Committee. In Grand Rapids, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.